What up guys, welcome back to another episode. Before we go ahead and get into it, just wanna let you guys quickly know that Drop2 is live, guys. Click the link down below in the description and you can see that we also launched a brand new website with plenty of cool new features. We're gonna go ahead and run through the collection. So starting off with the Nerd Blue Sweat. As you can see here, we've done like some light sun fading over the thigh, kind of like going down the knee. Um, we're using a 24 ounce ultra heavy cotton on these. Three inch boxing waist inspired with the drawstring. You see the details. Also, we got the raw edge open hem here at the bottom. So they sit super nice at the bottom right over your shoe or slides, whatever you have to decide to wear. Same thing goes with the Onyx Black. Also gone ahead and done like a light fade over the thigh, kind of going down. Same exact sweat, just a different color. Again, three inch boxing waist inspired with the drawstring. You guys see it. I'm wearing right now a pair of the Sherpa pants, which are actually the exact same fit as the two sweats that you guys just saw, except of course they're gonna fit a little bit different just because the material is different. Like these sit a little bit wider and kind of just more boxy. Two different t-shirts as part of this collection here. The first one, we got the safety match tee. As you can see on the back, it's like a kind of like a slight raised kind of like crackle effect that we've done on the back print as well on the front. You guys know with this style of print, or the graphic tends to look better the more you wash it. Same thing here with the Scorpion tee. Both of these t-shirts run true to size. I'm wearing size L in both. Also note that these pieces don't have distressing on them because they were just samples, but for the actual production pieces that you guys will be receiving will be full distressing around the neck as well as the sleeve as well as the bottom here. And then we got the university inspired Michigan hoodies. Starting off with this one is like a deep navy. Again, fitting true to size, ultra heavy. The fit on these hoodies runs the same as any of the other hoodies that you guys would have seen, except these ones do feel a little bit heavier and stiffer than some of the other washed out colors that I've done, whether it be a vintage black or the matcha or anything like that. This is gonna feel a little bit heavier and more stiff. We got the ash gray with the navy print. Again, Michigan inspired. Link is live down below in the description as well as the new website that we just launched. You know, your boy's been grinding, going super hard with the clothing, the workouts, everything. So, you know, any form of coppage is much appreciated. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into the video, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I'm not gonna take up too much more of your time. Day to the grind, rain or shine, we gotta get the work done today. Now let's go, we got boxing this morning, but you guys know the deal. Morning coffee, walk Kobe, come back, change, fire up some boxing, then go to work. All right, the grind really don't stop. Shall we get a little rain drip check right now? Boy, got the Arky on, got the real tree pants on. Kind of 14s with the Uzi, with the Uzi pose. <laughs> Days like today, can't help but ask yourself, why am I doing this shit? The real question is like, you know, why do you do this shit when you don't have to? And I think the whole don't have to is enough for us not to want to start. You know what I'm saying? Just one of those things where it's like, the more you do, the more you can do. And sometimes you don't really know the journey that you're on. We'll never know what the final destination is, if it's worth it. But it isn't about reaching the final destination or achieving a certain goal. It's about the person who you become while on the journey to achieve that goal or various goals, etc. That's why we do it, that's why we're up. Everyone's grind is different. Don't look at my grind and be like, oh, it's gotta be the same. Everyone's on their own journey can't compare. I gotta remind myself that sometimes. Let's get up, let's get after it, let's get her fucking going today. Today, I gotta get in here and squat. Let's head go, baby. A couple of times, you know, the savage mode. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we just got done a legendary workout with Matt Nazca. Boom. Your boy is all fresh and cleaned up. I actually don't like haircuts the day of. I'd always like it like two or three days after. So, you know, the sides we cleaned up, but once they grow in a little bit more, it's gonna look a lot cleaner. I'm gonna go pull up downtown ski right now. We're actually pulling up to one of my embroidery factories right now. Gotta go approve 
some denim that I'm working on for you guys. All the light wash denim that's laid out. Got the dark wash denim here. There, now you guys saw it. Denim in progress. And you guys know, obviously, we don't be doing nothing half ass around here. You know, I didn't want to just develop like a basic denim because I feel like there's a lot of that already on the market. You know, the fit is pretty classic. It's not like a super skinny or overly wide. It's a kind of just like a straight leg all the way down. It's actually based off of a classic Stussy pant is where I got the original fit. And then we just made some like slight altercations and stuff like that just to get it how I want it. Of course, I wanted to add my own little flair to it. And I love denim that has like embroidery stuff on it already all the stuff that my mom does for her clothing line I love all that stuff in terms of like a material that holds embroidery really well and it just looks sick I've always found that denim holds embroidery the best what better way to do a you know my first pair of denim with a little bit of custom embroidery for you guys stay tuned but that's just some that's in the works on the way Anyways, we gotta go pull up now to the office. Your boy's reworking the website, revamping a bunch of shit for 2024. Gotta do more type B. So I gotta reshoot a bunch of the product. Let's go, baby. We got a little modeling to do today. Oh, fucking yeah there, bud. All right, baby. I want to say we got like a maybe 53 minute or so run. I'm running mad slow today. Better go get these miles in right now. Your boy blacked out. Yeah, I know what the fuck going on. Yo, fucking yeah there. Let's go get this fucking run, baby. Nice shift, baby. Nice shift. Let's go. Finishing strong. Well, 7.5er. We're still getting the job done. Good morning, everybody. This is the morning of in preparation for our 18 mile run today. I'm gonna share with you guys my little pre-run shake. I'll really only ever have a shake before a run when it's like over 10 miles, 13 or over. All right, anyways. One ripe banana, one generous handful of raspberries, one scoop of Vitargo carbohydrate-based protein. Just to recap this, protein here for you guys. 70 grams of carbohydrates. Coconut water. Go ahead. Fuck, I forgot to add honey. Fucking honey. Okay guys, make sure you add honey. That'll give you an extra little boost of sugar and carbs. We'll do one generous tablespoon of honey. Boom. Now we'll go ahead and down this bad boy. Obviously mid compared to the average protein shake because the Vitargo is like flavorless and have much flavor. But I got about an hour and a half before the run. That should be enough time to get this down, let it digest, not to give you guys TMI, but you know, taking maybe another shit or two, get myself ready, get the gear ready, get the salt packs ready. You already know the fuck going on. Basically, get ourselves ready. Pulling up to Venice today. We're doing nine out and nine back. We got 18. I'll see you guys in Venice. Hit this 18, just pull up to Venice. I'm gonna show you boys and girls what's in the run bag. Extra shorts, we got the shoes, we're running in these today. We got extra tea, two water bottles, one full of regular water, one with salt water. Oh, do you want one of these? I brought you one if you want. A little gel, like gloves. All right, let's get it fucking going here, boys. <laughs> no matter what. What up, say your name, bro. I'm, my name's Kenny. Um, I've been watching Levi since his first video in 2017, Jeez. along with Kai, so it means a lot seeing him in person. That's what's up, bro. Go. You saw us running down there? Yeah, I saw you running. I was like, I, saw, I was by Blue Bottle. Yeah. So I was running yeah. by fucking Birkenstock trying to find you. Oh, shit, bro. Yeah, so. That's love, man. Yeah, we were moving You guys were there. moving, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely obliterated that run today, boys. Even got a little tan today. Nice getting some sun out there. Overall, I'm feeling really good about that run today. Decided to start kind of slow in my head. The plan was to just finish really strong and I'm super happy about it. Gonna head on over to Jared's today. He's doing a little Super Bowl get together thing with the boys. Post 18 mile, baby. I should be putting my legs up and letting them drain the lymphatic drainage for a bit, but honestly, I'm just gonna head on over to Jared's now. Get some food in me because I'm fucking starving. What up? Talk to us, what we got going on? 
What do we got? Big green egg, most people know. If you like know grills and shit, you know this is kind of like the ultimate. No. So it's a smoker, but we're grilling with it, and we're using uh, real charcoal type and shit, mesquite wood type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we got some chicken wings. I'm about to fire these things up right now. What do we got? We got Erwan barbecue pork ribs, McCall's sausages, two different kinds, and McCall's wings, and then just regular organic. Looks fire. All right. In cooking, you know, my dad always taught me, always set up your station before you cook. Has to be perfectly organized, you know? Because exactly. even on the fucking grill, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But you leave it on the, on the thing, eh? Like that? What, the string? Yeah, why do you leave the string? Because I don't want them to fall apart. I want them to cook like that. So it'll actually cook all the way through like that? Well, then we're going to do like some time like that and then flip on the other side. But since these are pork, they have a lot of fat and you just want the fat to render in there. So you never have to unroll them at all while they're on the barbecue? Unless they unroll, they might fall apart, but no. The dry is crazy. The fire is just going crazy. I should have waited to see. Still going to taste good though. Yeah, it's okay. I, f I like a little bit of that fucking, char. yeah, I've controlled char. No fucking way bubbled that. All right, a little Super Bowl action. Peeps of spread. Shout out to Jared for putting all this, you know, stuff here together for the boys. Got some chips and dip, some McCall's candy. You see, you see the way the bag is stacked. Look at that, all the fat just rendering. <laughs> what we got? Jeez. Honestly, yo, shout out for being a good host, for real. I know how much effort this actually seriously takes, you know? I told you, Jared, when I walked in, I was shook at the spread. Yeah, for real. Is he biting in this? Mm. Is it really burnt? What does it taste like? Mm. Honestly, the char is nice. She might have canceled. I know. Damn. Oh, oh. 